New at five tonight, police are investigating after an attempted child luring right near Richard Bryan Elementary. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George is live near Lake Mead and Buffalo. He spoke to some parents who are shocked by this. Yeah, and Carl and Trisha actually spoke with the mom of one of the kids involved. She's still too shaken up and didn't want to go on camera, but she says she's proud of her son for doing the right thing. She says when he and his friends were approached by that man, they immediately said no, and they immediately called their parents for help. As parents pick up their kids from school today, concerned after these letters went home in their backpacks from the principal, warning them about an attempted child luring this morning. I don't even know what I would do if something was to ever happen to him. According to police, three students were approached by a man in a nearby neighborhood, asking them to get into his car several times, asking if they needed a ride to school. But the group of kids stuck together and repeatedly said no before calling their parents, something parents we spoke with said they'd want their kids to do too. Rock on. Yeah, you know, right? What, what do you teach him? He knows. He knows safety. He knows not to talk to strangers. Ask him. I wouldn't talk to them. I'd just keep walking. And if I had my phone, I would just call my mom. Some are surprised, though, because this is usually a safe area, and it's only the second day of school. And with the other moms, they're just worried that it might happen again. Now keeping a closer eye out. Closely look by looking, see if any cars are suspicious. Now, so far, police only have a really vague description to go off of. All they're really saying is that this was a black SUV, and most of the students that we talked with know the right thing to do. They've memorized their phone numbers, their home address, and as for the mom of that student involved, she says next time she's also going to be teaching her son how to write down the license plate number if something like this happens again. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News. It's really, really concerning. Thank you so much. And you can stay on top of breaking news even when we're not on the air. All you have to do is download the KTMV mobile app to get updates sent immediately to your smartphone. It's free in the App Store and in Google Play.